Hello, we are here today with Mira Betts and we are in Tempe, Arizona at the Plaza de Anaya World Fusion Dance Studio. Now you are here this weekend because you just did a workshop? I did, I did three workshops and a show. Wow, okay, can you tell us about the workshops first? Okay, uh, we did some technique, cleaning, some drilling, some just free dancing, well, free dancing, that's kind of a weird term. <laughs> And then we did some more sort of theatrical based exercises and um, breathing exercises and sort of out of the belly dance box mm. movement exercises. Okay, and that was, was that the first workshop or was that all? That's all, all of, them? of them, I just kind of combined. Okay, them. wonderful, wonderful. And what about the performance? What was that like? The performance was really nice. I got to see the whole show, mm -hmm. and it was nice because it's smaller, so I could just run up on stage when it was my turn. Um, and the dancers were really beautiful. It was a really nice lineup and um, a nice variety of both cabaret, ATS, and tribal fusion. Mm -hmm. And it was just a really sweet, sweet evening. Oh, good, 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 yeah. good. I live in Oakland, California. Another California person. Yes. <laughs> and how did you define yourself as a dancer? You mean, how did I find the dance? How do you define yourself? Like, oh, are define. You, do, do you feel that you're like a tribal fusion? Are you a, where do you oh, fall? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I get asked this question a lot. Um, I'm a dancer. That's how I define myself. I, I feel like the definitions don't serve our community in any way. In fact, they break our community apart. Mm -hmm. And I think that really, truly, at the heart of it, it's all the same dance form. Mm -hmm. And that uh, we can all learn something from each other. I think um, for people who really need definitions, mm -hmm. I've been put in the tribal fusion category, mm -hmm. um, mostly because they don't know what else to call me. Okay. The cabaret girls look at me and they go, you are definitely not a cabaret. <laughs> And the, the ATS and, tri and tribal girls go, well, you are certainly not tribal. So <laughs> everything else that is not those two things goes into tribal fusion for lack of having any other thing to call right. it. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's where I find myself. That's the community that has opened their arms to me. But I also get a lot of cross-pollination between the cabaret dancers and the other tribal dancers as well just because... Um, you know, they're interested in something different or what I have to offer because I kind of approach teaching a little bit differently. Okay. Do you have a studio? I do not. And so you just teach workshops generally? Yeah, exactly. I travel around the world teaching workshops, mostly because um, the Bay Area has so many amazing, talented dancers that I just couldn't really make a living living there and teaching. So um, the rest of the world is hungry for what we have been developing there for, you know, the last 20 years. And so... I go where they call me. And so is that how you started? Just well, where did you get your roots for your dance? I started in, in California, in the Bay Area. And with the, uh, out of what studio or who were your teachers? My then? teacher, my primary teacher was Katarina Berta. Mm -hmm. And she was a student of Jamila Salampur. She was in Balanat in the old days. And she was an incredible teacher. And I stayed with her for over 10 years. Wow. And what style did she teach? She taught... Um, she t we we learned um, many many different styles. She was very much about respecting the cultures and keeping them really more defined. So we did um, Armenian line dances. We did Moroccan shikhat. We did Gidra okay. trance dancing from Morocco. We did um, Egyptian, both Upper Egyptian, older styles and new. We did um, Turkish, we did Balkan singing and line dancing. Mm -hmm. um, we played instruments, uh, sang, made our own costumes, and danced, and often all for in one show. Oh, my time. goodness. So it was a really well-rounded education and really respectful of the cultures that we were learning from. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, so that's my background. Oh, my goodness, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it was incredible. Just phenomenal. Now, so do you find that with that background, you just kind of mix them all together when you practice or when you, you mean practice? What, you mean what happened? Yes, like how did you... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, through working...
for years. I worked for years in the nightclubs and um, private parties and that sort of work, mm -hmm. um, standard belly dance gigging. Um, I would show up for the gigs and they'd go, you're the dancer? You know, because I'm white and freckly and blonde hair with blue eyes. And I'd be like, yes. <laughs> and they were like, uh, what do we do? And I'm like, look, just let me in the door. And I'm already here. I'm dressed. You know, and they're like, fine. And then after the show, they were like, oh, my God. Where are you from? I know you're from over there because there's some places in the mountains where they have light eyes and light hair. And you must be. And I'm like, no, I'm a white girl. I'm a white girl. You know, and... Um, but I realized no matter how hard I tried, I would never be Moroccan. I would never be Egyptian. Mm -hmm. And um, so this quest for authenticity, for being something that I would never be, was didn't feel really true to mm -hmm. me. Okay. And so around that time in the Bay Area, was a lot, I think that was going around with a lot of the dancers, is just kind of looking for our voice and our, our generation's interpretation of what we were doing and we all hung out and we all danced together and we influenced each other and we watched each other's shows and that was kind of the beginning of tribal fusion is us okay. looking for our own personal expression and so uh, I myself drew from my past you know I was I was uh, into goth and punk rock at one time and then I went into my swing phase where I was into everything from the 40s and then I went through my grunge phase and my hippie phase and I went through all of that and right. through all of that I was dancing on the side thinking it was really separate I was like oh this is who I am outside as a teenager and growing up but then this is what I do as a hobby and I love it and, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden I realized oh these don't have to be separate they I can be me in this dance okay. so that was that fusion that mm -hmm. happened mm -hmm. and when I went oh okay who am I as a young American artist and how can I express that through this language of dance that I've learned mm -hmm. over the past 20 years so that's what I do and that's how it all came together yeah for me that's oh, okay. and so when I teach I try to encourage my students to find out who they are mm -hmm. and not try to be you know somebody else even if they are new in tribal fusion and, and like no don't be them when you can be you mm -hmm. you know